Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Fallout 3 played on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be doing something very interesting in the Republic of Dave that involves this thing here, the ballot box. Yes, the Republic of Dave is a democratic society and I'm going to go ahead and throw a span out right in the works. You see, if you talk to anyone, then Dave uh, will, well, they will tell you that Dave uh, will always be elected and even Dave thinks he will always be elected as hey, no one will stand yes. against him. What can President Dave do for you? So we're going to ask him if there is anything we can do for him in this election. For the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Oh, absolutely. Um, yes, absolutely. Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. So his father was a monarch. Um, so now you're president. How does that work? My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. Hey, could I help you with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Well, at the moment, um, he is the only person to be elected. Uh, he's the only person running for office, so... The election is still going on. What do you want to know? I'd like to know who's eligible to vote. That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Okay. Uh, are, are all the votes in? Tell Shauna that Dave commands her to vote in the election. She'll come running, trust me. Okay. Uh, I think I have all the info I need. Anything else? No. Um, so what we're going to attempt to do here is we're going to try and rig the election so that Dave doesn't win. And uh, yeah, so... There's a few people we can talk to, and we're going to go ahead and talk to Rosie. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Uh, and I'd like to discuss the election. Election time is always exciting around here. Let's see. Have you ever considered running for presidency? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. Well, um, it's not betrayal. This is a free nation, right? Yeah, and like Dave says, freedom is the most free freedom that we have. You know what? You're right. I'll give it a shot. It's like my duty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, whatever helps you sleep at night. Well... Uh, you should vote if you haven't already. You're right. I'll go right now. Cool. So Rosie is gonna vote, obviously, for herself. Excited about the election? Uh, we're gonna we ha basically we have to get everyone here to vote. So we're gonna go talk to Jessica next. Fine. Uh, I don't think that she will vote for Rosie because basically Jessica and Rosie are Dave's wives. He has two wives. Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? Maybe. Have you considered running for presidency? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Okay. Um, I think we're going to have to ask her to uh, vote. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. I'm just going to quick save because I think there's a way. Okay, I can't. Okay, fair enough. I was just going to say, I think there's a way I can steal her vote, but never mind. So let's talk to Dave. Yes. What can President Dave do for you? Well, um, let's see. I want to tell him 
that Rosie is running for president. Hmm. Don't think I can. Did you vote already? Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. I don't know that voting for yourself is very ethical, but there you go. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. Hi there, honey. So I how's Rosie getting on? Dave allowed you to stay. Yeah, good. Uh, you voted. Oh, she did her part. Good. Bye, Rosie. So we have at least two people who have voted so far. Let's go find you. Something you need? Let's see. I'd like to discuss the election with you. I'm not sure if I can help you. Well, maybe. Have you considered running for presidency? I'm sure there was an option here. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Well, I don't want her voting then. Um, let's see. What can I say to her? You should go vote. Oh, no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. Cool. So, Sean is going to vote. And... Then we just have Bob. Yes? What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. Let's see. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Oh, yeah? What about it? Uh, Rosie is running for president now. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Well, I disagree. Uh, have you considered running for presidency? Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. So is Dave his son? Um, you're too young to take Dave's place anyway? Too young? Too young? I am so sick of <laughs> everyone around here pulling that you're too young crap with me. I'm tired of it. I'm old enough to take Dave's place. I'll win that election and show everybody. Okay. Um. So does that mean that you'd vote? That you'd put yourself forward? Later, Bob. Just don't bother me. I've got stuff to do for Dave. So does that mean that Bob is going into the election as well? Let's go back to Dave and find out. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, you're not Dave. I don't know. Dave, I'm pretty sure Dave was sat there before. But, yeah, you. Yes. What can pre Let's see. Uh, I'd like to discuss the election yeah. with you. Um, looks like you might have an opponent in the race, Mr. President. An opponent? Seriously? But, but, wait. No, this is a free republic. Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. Uh, maybe not. Um, are all the votes in? Bob still hasn't voted, that dumb bastard. Hmm, okay. Uh, in that case, how can I help? I told you before. Oh yeah, so he There's wants me to get them a vote. So, it looks like everyone's voted but Bob. So, what we'll do now is we'll go down and we'll get Bob to vote. Come on, make it fast. Uh, I'd like to discuss the election with you. Uh, okay. Um, I don't... Fine. So he said he'd win the election, but I don't think he's actually voted. This. Oh, he says he's going to win it. Uh, I don't think he did actually go and vote, but... I don't think that counts. I think everything... Yeah, he, he probably has just voted there. Evening. So, let's talk to Dave. What can President Dave do for you? Uh, I'd like to discuss the election yeah. with you. Hmm. Let's see. What can I say? Doesn't look like everyone's voted yet. Sean is about to vote. Ah, uh, Dave, lead our republic to glory. So she voted for Dave. Good to see you. That's fantastic news. And this box here, I can't actually open. Uh, it requires a key, and there is no. I, if there is a key, I don't actually know where it is. So, 
you know, for the time being, we can't Easy. really break into it. Sean has just voted. It looked like Bob was gonna vote. Come on, make it fast. Um, you should vote if you Do haven't. That. Anyway. Oh, you already did it. Good. Okay, so everyone's voted. I think now we'll go and uh, get the selection over with. So, who am I looking for? You. Good to see you. Quick save. Yes, I messed this up. And yes. Yeah. What can? So it looks like. Uh, looks like all the votes Good. are in. The votes are in. Oh yes, I almost. Nice. So I'm not actually sure if he has a key or not. No, he doesn't. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can sneak round here. Let's see what we have here. A vote for me. We have three votes for Dave. I'm gonna take them, and we have a vote for Rosie and Bob. And another vote for me. A vote for Rosie. Bob. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? Oh yes. Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is. Rosie. Rosie can't be president. How can it be Rosie? No. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Cool. And we just ousted Dave as president. Yeah. What do you? Um. So let's ask him now about. Well, nothing really. Anyone got any opinions about this, Jessica? He says you're okay. So, no, she has no opinions. Let's go find Rosie and tell her that she is now president. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Yeah, good. Well, you're president now. Wait, sorry you didn't win, Rosie. Oh, Rosie did win. What? Who won then? If she didn't win, does that mean Bob won? Yes? What is it? Uh, what? So who's the leader then? Who needs it? I'm very confused. So Dave didn't win, and he just left. I Good think this is a glitch, you know. I heard that Dave allowed you to... I didn't win it. So who won? Yeah. I think we're going to have to try this again, because I think something's glitched up here, you know. It seems uh, that nobody is the leader, and that was not meant to happen. So we'll load... The quick save. If I can find it. There it is. Ah, let's try that again. Yes. What can press? The. Looks like all the votes are in. Cool. So, who should we make president? Should we make Bob president, or should we make? Let's um, see what we have here. A vote for me. So we'll get rid of the votes for Dave. And we'll get rid of the vote for Bob. Let's make Rosie president. And another vote for me. A vote for Rosie. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? Oh, yes. Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Rosie. Rosie can't be president. Well, you said that before, no. but then she wasn't. This is unfair. So. This can't be. Fine, I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Cool. Does that work hey. this time? Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Yeah, they do. They always smell awful. Let's go talk to Rosie. Well now, who could have ever thought? Me, president. Oh, things are really going to be different around here. Yeah, they are. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Nothing like Dave kept good old election fraud. locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore. Cool. So Rosie's president, and I get a big gun, which is pretty sweet. Uh, open safe. Don't no. Don't talk to me that way. Well, what? Shut up. What was that about? Dave says you're okay. Uh, you heard Rosie won the election? Rosie's going to be the new leader? What will Dave do? Nothing, I would imagine. So, Bob didn't win, but let's go talk to him. 
I think he's like the only other person. Well, there's Shauna. Uh, if we can find her. I'm more interested in to hear what Bob has to say. And I think they've all gone to sleep. Is that Dave? I guess you're wondering where I'm going. Yeah. I'm off to annex old only and forge the new Republic of Dave. Don't try to stop me. Okay, good for you. Maybe bump into him down the line somewhere. So we're gonna enter the woman's quarters. I wanna see what Oh, who's Shauna? Are you Shauna? There we are. Uh you heard Rosie one? He's going to be the new leader. What will Dave do? Uh okay, good. So she doesn't really care, I guess. Let's go talk to Bob and tell him that he lost the election. Should be around here somewhere, the male quarters. I'm pretty sure I found it earlier. As uh, that's a woman's quarters. Ah, here it is. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is it. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to Bob. You, President Rosie. President Rosie, what's happening around here anyway? <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, we just rigged an election. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I think it's pretty cool. Next time, we're going to go ahead to Tenpenny Tower. And uh, we're going to stand on this uh, thing here that doesn't work. But I just want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you do have any. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.